you no longer have to go outside Vectorworks to apply image effects or to do image editing. You can do it right inside the software. And this applies to images in viewports, in bitmaps on the drawing, textures, image fills, any kind of images, you can now edit them. Let's take a look at how we can put this to use. So here we have a section viewport. And I'm a bit disappointed in the render. I want these walls to be a lot lighter. And I could mess about with lights for a while. But let's just do it using the apply image effects. And the viewport needs to be updated for this to work, which this one is. So we'll click apply image effects, then come in here and, and look at this. So we've got our preview image here. What I want to do is to increase the exposure, then increase the highlights so that those walls are becoming a lot lighter. And that's pretty much all I need to do, but you can see we've got lots of other options for how you might adjust the image, and we'll look at all those in a moment. Let's click Apply, and yes, so just comparing the two, uncheck this, original, so this is looking more like how I want it to look. But I'd like this to look a little bit less sterile, so let's go in here and turn on Sketch Hidden Line Results. And you'll see now that image effects is grayed out because the viewport needs to be updated. So we'll go ahead and update the viewport. And that's looking uh, a bit better, but in the image effects, we have this ability to add soft edges. And in, in an extreme, it's going to soften the edges of the whole thing. But I'm just going to add a little bit of soft edges to this. And that's really going to just take away the, the, the harshness of the edges and just make the whole thing look a little bit more artistic, I guess, for want of a better word. Let's look at other forms of uh, image effects. What we've got at the bottom here are four different kinds of images. This is just a bitmap image. And if we apply image effects to this, you'll see that you can do all sorts of things. This has got color in it, so we can adjust the, the temperature to make it warmer or cooler, the saturation. So you can really fine tune these images just to get them exactly how you want because you know when you go on site or something and you're taking photographs or you download one from the web, it's not always exactly what you want. So fine tuning this can really get it how you want. This brickwork could be white, but you, you took the photograph of it and it turned out to be gray. So again, we can go uh, the image effects and look at this and increase the exposure and maybe the, the highlights. Uh, click Apply and let's compare those two. That's without, that's with, so that's looking better. Now this one, uh, I'm going to demonstrate two things. Firstly, if we look at this and, and expand the Object Info palette a bit, you can see that this is quite a large JPEG for such a small image. and Whenever you see that, it's worth investigating. And if we click on Image Attributes, you can see that this is actually just a very small piece of a much larger image. And the raw size of that image is 48.77 megabytes. So this is going to have a huge impact on the file size and on PDF sizes and things like that. So given that we've cropped this to a much smaller section, what we can do is to choose Delete Outside Crop and when we go yes, what this is going to do is to get rid of the rest of the image except for this small part that we were using here. And if we click image attributes now, you'll see it's 192 kilobytes instead of um, 44 or whatever it was megabytes. So a huge difference there. Now sometimes you do have to then get rid of the crop object just as a tip. So when we turn on image effects, we get the correct preview here. If the preview doesn't appear, sometimes the, the crop is doing it when the crop is matching the size of the image. So again here, you know, we can, we can do whatever we needed to do here to get this looking how we want. So finally, there's other places in Vectorworks where images are used. This is actually just an image fill. And if we look at this image fill in the resource manager, you'll see here it is. If we right click on it, you can see we can edit image effects and edit image attributes here as well. So if we go image effects, you know, it may be that we wanted this to be darker or, or you know, we wanted to change it in some way. So you can go in there and do that. And that's going to apply to, uh, to this. This is looking a lot sharper now. And for textures, you can do the same thing. So if we go to RenderWorks Textures, 
and any image based texture you can do this with so if we go and edit the texture go edit and this is the image here if we click edit you're going to see the image effects button here and we come in here and you know you might want to reduce the, the, the strength of that color a bit increase the contrast decrease the contrast increase the exposure you know whatever it is you're wanting to do make it sharper make it blurrier and uh, just click apply and that's going to then uh, filter through into the texture itself.